Pirate Sundays. My name's Jack, and I'm one of the Early Beach Volunteer Cruise Ship Ambassadors, who will meet you when you arrive. The Ambassadors are a group of local people. We live here, and we volunteer because we love our town. We'll give you a free map and answer any questions you might have. You can't miss us. Look for the bright blue flowery shirts. If you are disembarking at Open Point Marina, and you've already booked a tour, the ambassadors and tour operators will be there to give you directions to all the pickup points. If your plan is to head into the township of Ely Beach, you have two options. Firstly, there will be a shuttle bus. This will cost you $5 per person return, and you will need cash as your cruise card won't work once you're off the ship. The bus will drop you at the markets on the far end of the main street and pick you up from the same place. If you'd like to walk into town, our Bicentennial Walkway is a pleasant scenic route. Mostly flat with a couple of gentle slopes, it's about one kilometre to the top of the main street with lots of great photo opportunities along the way. Early Beach is the largest town in the Whitsunday region and about 10,000 people live here. We only have one main street, but you should find most of the services you might need, including supermarket, chemist, hairdressers, doctors and ATMs. There are places to buy postcards and stamps are available from the convenience stores and the red post box is outside the chemist. No news agent, but a number of shops sell papers and magazines. Early Beach is a tropical climate, so only two seasons, the wet and the dry. If you visit us in the wet season, Roughly October to April, temperatures will likely be in the low 30s. And while that doesn't sound overly hot, you need to consider that the humidity may be quite high. So drink lots of water while you're getting about and wear cool, comfortable clothing. Wet season visitors should also be aware that you shouldn't swim in the ocean because we have stinging jellyfish. Nasty little things they are. If you've already booked an all-day tour such as the Great Barrier Reef or Whitehaven Beach, then your day is already planned. If you haven't booked these, sorry, but it's unlikely you'll be able to reach these destinations once you come ashore, as the travel time required means you would miss your cruise ship departure. But there's still a truckload of other things to do. In the main street, there are lots of shops to satisfy retail therapy, including small boutiques and souvenir shops. And of course, the markets will be on. Our lagoon is a fabulous place to swim. And even if you forgot to bring your swimmers, it's still a lovely spot to relax, guaranteed jellyfish free. We sometimes get asked about good places to go snorkeling. The best places to do this are all out on the reef or the islands, so we would suggest you book a tour from the ship. For the foodies, Airlie Beach is a tourist town, so there are oodles of places to eat and drink. Everything from classy restaurants to fish and chips on the beach. Need more suggestions? Perhaps a helicopter ride to the reef, a short tour in the tuk-tuk, or a trip on the aquabus. You could try a tandem skydive, learn to stand up paddleboard, ride a Segway, or hire a bike. Well, that's it from me. I hope I've given you a bit of an idea of what to expect when you come ashore. Me and the other ambassadors are looking forward to meeting you. Don't forget, look out for the blue flowery shirts. So see you soon.